Public school superintendent just announced tonight the district will use new funds from the state to bring back 74 teaching positions they originally planned to cut in the proposed budget for next school year. We sent Elise Haas to that meeting tonight to keep us updated on the changes. Uh, do we know how they voted, Elise? It was a long late night, and after much deliberation, about 15 minutes ago, the school board ultimately voted to approve the budget for next school year. But I will say that coming into the night, the parents did come in upset to that meeting because they had originally thought in the budget that the school board was going to be cutting 88 teaching positions. And all of this time, the parents had been saying that their students need more teachers, not fewer. So vote no on this until you put teachers who are frontline and students first. 30 groups of parent teacher associations from across the Portland Public School District banded together, speaking up at the school board meeting Tuesday night. 33 kids in a class when these kids had been in, you know, learning in the time of COVID. They want to be seen by their teacher and in a class of 30, they can't be. In a class of 20, yes, they can. The PTA parents are saddened by some high class sizes for next year. They wrote this letter urging the school board to amend the budget and restore the cut teaching positions. We are advocating for the kids and for me advocating for the kids is advocating for our teachers who are teaching in probably one of the hardest years that they've ever ever had to teach in. Meanwhile, PPS district officials have previously told me next year's enrollment is down by more than 3,000 students, meaning less state funding now and in the future. We need PPS to come through with figuring out a way to make sure that we have as many bodies in the buildings as possible. I mean, there really, there is, there's no excuse. And those parents please do not fall on deaf ears. The superintendent later announced that he's proposing to use $9 million that they just received from the state, it's extra money, to then bring back 74 positions. That would include elementary teachers, special education teachers, education assistants, and counselors for the students throughout the school district. And this did come as some relief to the teachers union as well as parents who were sitting in the meeting tonight. But the board did warn that they are using a lot of one time funds and they're warning that there could be some serious cuts in the next budget cycle. So coming up tomorrow, the superintendent is hosting a press conference and I'll be asking more about questions about those issues then and I'll bring you that coverage at four, five and six tomorrow. Live in downtown Portland, Elise Haas, Coin Six News.